welcome this is the energy vibration reading for all the sun moon and rising scorpions and i want to say thank you for your support your likes and share please leave your messages i'm so grateful for your um support and please like and share these videos again please listen to your sun moon and rising sign and another thing at the third week in this month please go back and listen to this energy vibration reading because you can see what the first two weeks has done and what to expect in the two first and the last two weeks okay it's very important i'm getting that um a lot of you um need to um uh, go back and listen to the reading in the third week because it's a month of five weeks it is a good month for you scorpions it's a wonderful month for you scorpions why because uh, the energy vibration of the hermit is here and the hermit is a water sign it's looking you're looking at yourself you are um, trying to figure out yourself and looking at yourself and finding the true inner light and this is good so for you Scorpion it's going to be a wonderful month the month of August this month of August is going to bring a lot of balances in your life a lot of balances because in your career there is going to bring a lot of balances your financial situation is going to be in balance so your career and money is going to be in balance this is going to be a positive energies for you is scorpion in this uh, month of august the number for you is eight and the number two and eight is going to be um a positive positive energies for you guys eight is infinity okay so for you scorpion um what is going to happen is that uh, um a balance uh, balance is coming in your life and this balance uh, a positive balance with your financial situation um, and you know so expect um, a, a, a positive um, balance in your financial world your financial world okay expect that balance to come in a positive balance in your financial role so what's where is happening around you you need to know that a positive balance is coming up in your financial world so this is going to be good so remember number two and number eight is going to be your energy vibration which is good two is always uh, work and eight is always uh, financial abundance so this is good we have five weeks so remember at the third week go back and listen to the two first week and go back and listen to the two last week okay this is what the guides and angels are saying for you guys first week we are going to have earth energy which is good second week we are going to have a oh, water energy which is good for you so all the weeks in this month is going to be good for you scorpion all the weeks there is no weeks that whatever is going to come out no all the weeks in this month of August is going to be a positive um, month for you guys. In the third week, we have uh, the Tower, which is clearing um, energies, and you are going to have a promotion. Um, um, work is going to come in. If you're not working, work is going to come in. There is going to be a balance coming in. Um, in the fourth week, you have the energy of justice and a celebration, a celebration of something. So let's say um, you had a situation with your work you're going to win the lawsuit let's say you have a, um, a, a legal matter with somebody else you're going to win whatever it is you're going to win because there's a celebration coming in the fourth week in the fifth week we have the energy of the ten of sword being stabbed in the back and that sort of a thing it's falling out and you can um, you can move forward um, you will be going on in a in a journey but yet still you're going to be traveling the end of September which is the end of August which is extremely good so whatever that was um, 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 blocking your way of traveling it's going to be okay so the end of August you can travel you'll be going on a trip so we're beginning to look at uh, the weeks what we have here is that we have the energy of an Virgo in the first week that is bringing balance in your world whatever whoever that person is it's wonderful because you have the eye princess so whoever you're going to meet in the first week and is a Virgo that person was sent in your life by the universal angels so it's as if and 
um, it's an invitation this person is going to bring you a wonderful invitation of uh, you know you want to start a new relationship or whatever the situation is but whosoever this Virgo person is that you meet in the first week it's going to be good because the universal angels send this person in your life so this is going to be extremely positive so as we look at your week it's going to be a wonderful week because uh, the eye princess is always uh, your spirit guide sending someone to help you and someone to move you from out of a relationship and that is good because a new situation is going to begin in your life in the first week of August and this is good so August is the time when people always meet new people and this is going to be a positive one so if you are in a relationship and you meet someone who is a Virgo an earth sign person and they want to connect with you the universal angels your spirit guides have sent them and your spirit guides could be a mother a grandmother or so who was a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion who have sent this person in your life and it is good go with that person whoever you are out there and you are meeting someone who is an earth sign person the universe sent this person in your life and it's going to be good okay it's going to be really positive okay as we move forward we have the energy vibration of the lovers which is good for you guys and the energy that comes up with the lovers is that you have the energy you're going on a new journey so obviously I was right a lot of you Pisces uh, Scorpions I'm sorry a lot of you Scorpions are going to meet someone new in your life and this you are going to leave your relationship and go and begin a new relationship with someone some of you are going to keep it as a secret relationship until you get out of your own relationship but this is going to be good for you Scorpion so if you were in a relationship and you've met someone in the first week in the second week you're going to have the secret relationship until you can get out of your old relationship and this is going to be good because whosoever was sent to you in the first week it is a good relationship because when the energy of the lovers mean you're going on a new journey that means you have met someone and you're keeping it as a secret and whoever you're met and you're keeping it as a secret that means it's someone who you really want to go further with and you need to get out of your old relationship so this is going to be good in the third week we have the energy of the tower and the third week we have the energy of the tower and with the energy of the tower you have the Emperor so this is all about work in the third week and this is going to be good because you're bringing balance to your work so let's say you're starting a new um, work or a new business or whatever it is whether you're a business person a partner or school or whatever it is it's going to be good whatever it has to do with study school and a business something that you're using to um, 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 you know protect yourself bring yourself to a higher energy vibration and uh, um, you know making um, a good of something around you it's going to be extremely policy so whoever you are out there the tower is just coming to cleanse something so that you can manifest your financial world whatever it is whether you're studying whatever it is balance is going to come into your life now and this is good so whatever that was happening the universe is bringing balance in your life as we move forward to the uh, um, fourth week we have the energy vibration of justice energy vibration of justice in the fourth week is going to be extremely good because there's going to be a celebration whatever that has been happening and the fox comes up not as work in this time for some people if you are having injustice in your work situation it's going to come to a balance and you're going to have a celebration whoever you are that was um, having an injustice with your work with people at your work it's going to come um, it's going to come uh, to um, a positive balance in your life and this is going to be extremely good whatever the situation is uh, if you had a legal situation you're going to win and there's going to be a huge celebration this is going to be extremely good whatever it was you're going to win and this is going to bring positive energies to you in your life um, for whoever that you were with and this person was like the fox the slime person you are going to 
um, win over them you're going to justify it and win over them because the universal angels send someone in so for people who are in relationship and the relationship was not positive because there was somebody who was sly as a fox it's going to come to an end you're going to win and you're going to be justified and it's going to be good as we move forward we see the last week of the energy of the moon which is one of your um, help in the moon whatever that has been happening your universal angels have removed the the ten of swords out of your back so whosoever had stabbed you in the back lie and stab you in the back this can be something that is coming from abroad that sort of a thing and whoever this person was and and I'm getting this that this has to do with someone who was with someone who were using people from overseas to do nasty things and it has finally come to an end because the universal angels which the moon is the intuition the femininity and the clarity they worked to remove this person out of your life once and for all for people who are uh, are going to go on vacation it's going to be a wonderful vacation so go whatever the situation is that was blocking you from moving it's no longer there a lot of people will be traveling in this uh, um, last week and it's going to be good if you're planning on going on a journey it's going to be a very positive one so whoever you are out there this is going to be good for so for you scorpions it's going to be wonderful huge positive uh, situation is coming in and it has an effect in your love life and it has an effect in your financial world so whatever it is at the end of the day you will be balancing your money so um, no more so whoever you were with and this person was taking the sly little fox that she was or he or she was this was taking your money it's no longer it's gonna happen because you're going to now have financial balance you're going to um, balance out your financial situation whatever that was happening you're going to release this person and your financial situation is going to come to balance because apparently you had someone who you were giving out so much to and this person was a sly person was not really a nice person so what happened is that the tower came in and your 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 work situation has become so good and then in the last week whoever that person was has been moved out because you met someone in the in the first week and in the second week you're having like a relationship um, a secret relationship and that's the person you want to be with so in the fourth week you're going to get rid of your old relationship whoever that person was and you're going to start off because that the person you were in a relationship with was a sly little fox she was all for the money or he, he or she was all for the money and now you're releasing them and now the universal angels come in to release them and now you're feeling within yourself you're feeling balance in your financial world and balance in your emotional world you're feeling good at where you have come to a lot of traveling will be happening don't forget the number two and the number eight is going to be very significant and this is going to be good money is going to be coming to you guys in the month of of um, of um, August whatever is happening it's going to be extremely positive so you have no need to worry about it you need to understand where you are and how you're going to open up doors of opportunities for yourself business is going to be good for you scorpions whatever is happening business is going to be good love is is in the first week and the second week whatever is happening in the first week and second week there's going to be a new invitation in the first week with people um, to letting you know how they feel about you doors of opportunities with love is going to be open let's look at the Sun scorpions to see what's happening for the Sun scorpions good it's happening to the Sun scorpions okay let me put my glasses on and see what's happening for you Sun scorpions for the Sun scorpions we have the Gemini coming in so it could be people who you're going to connect with you Sun scorpions um, this is going to be extremely good for you Sun cars scorpions whatever is happening for the Gemini's are coming in this is a wonderful energies 
and we have the planet of Jupiter so yes in business and love there is going to be a successful change in business and love so this is going to be extremely wonderful whatever is happening there is going to be positive energies coming in for the um, sun sign um, scorpions with the Gemini's and the planet of Jupiter that is going to be good and guess what we have for you sun sign we also have planet of Venus so love is going to be playing a great role in your life you scorpions I'm so loving this for you because whatever is happening is that the Gemini's and Jupiter and the planet of Venus is coming in for you guys so it's going to be wonderful for you sun people okay as we move forward we are looking at the moon people and who are the moon people if you were born between the hours of 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. you are a moon sign person and what is happening for you guys let's see what's happening for the moon scorpion you have the Aries people coming in you have Mercurius coming in so you need to work your magic and you have the Leo's this is the first time I've seen the Leo's comes up for a sign so this is going to be wonderful um so here we go the moon people well, who is going to be helping you you have the energy of the Aries people coming in and the and this is positive this is good for the Aries people um, and then you have Mercurius coming in so you have to learn to manifest because that is what is the game of this month in August to learn to manifest and then you have the Leo so you have the fire sign you have the Aries and the Leo that is are going to come in to help you moon people to manifest certain aspect in your life to find the inner power and the passion within your life so this is going to be a positive positive month for you um, Scorpions whatever is happening for you moon Scorpions know that the Aries and the Leo's are going to help you and teach you how to manifest certain things in your life and this is going to be good as we move forward and we're looking and we're asking the vortex um, the energy vibration of the vortex to show us what will be your message um, for um, the month of April and you have the thoughts I think the terminate the relationship I attract the thoughts I think the terminate the relationships that I attract this is wonderful not only does the power of your thoughts determine which people makes it make their way into your life but it determine how they have they behave once by once they get there you are the thinker vibration um, attract uh, of your experience and the thoughts you think determine everything about the life that you live as you turn your attention in words the positive aspect of your personality and behaviors of others um, with whom you share your planet you will attain and train your point of action in the direction of only what you desire so this is wonderful so this is good so the thoughts I think determine the relationship I attract to myself people you need to understand this and you need to learn this and you need to know this that whatever thought we think about relationship that is what we attract in our lives so be aware of this this is going to be a wonderful month for you um, scorpions let me turn the back so you can read it so, for you scorpions it's going to be an extremely wonderful month I'm wishing you guys the best and I'm asking you please remember listen to your Sun moon and rising sign come back here to listen um, in the third week for the um, readings for the two last week it is very important that you connect with other people in this week and remember that the thoughts that you think determine the relationships and attract the people who come in your life and this you need to understand read this this is going to be your motto for the month and by doing this you're going to be understanding who you are and how you are capable of attracting the wrong people in your life so understand how beautiful this energy is going to be 
and know that only love exists and I'm saying to each and every person out there have a wonderful month I'm wishing you the best money is not going to be a problem you're going to bring money to your financial world and bring balance to your financial world and I'm saying to you namaste until next month